What's going on guys? So today I'm out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas. And I'm gonna have a conversation with you because a lot of folks ask me in 2024, what are the brands I should be looking for? What are the brands who are doing the most to innovate? Who are the brands that are doing the most in terms of safety and convenience, uh, integrating technology in to make their trailers safer when towing, as well as technology on the inside of the RVs to make them easier to use. So I wanna talk about that with you. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so in my opinion, one of the most innovative brands that I've ever reviewed, ever worked with, bar none, is gonna be Alliance. Alliance has done a lot to change the entire industry just by adding things to their units that were just thoughtful. And I think most of that comes from actual people who wanted to buy their units who said, hey, if you do this to your unit, if you add this, if you include this or that, your unit is gonna be more appealing to me. So Alliance actually does it. They listen to their buyers, they listen to future owners, they listen to people that they call allies that are part of their communities. And through social media, they have absolutely been able to kind of turn the industry upside down and change things. And a lot of the things that you see on other brands now are only on those brands because of what Alliance brought to the market. And because of that, they spurred innovation across almost all different manufacturers. So I would honestly say from an innovation perspective, Alliance has been and continues to be one of the most innovative manufacturers I've ever encountered. They're super strategic in terms of what they include on their units and they listen to their buyers. From an overall safety enhancement perspective, I'm gonna have to give it to Jayco. Jayco has come so far in in terms of what their RVs are about and what they design, what they include in their RVs whenever they manufacture a product. And let me explain that. So whenever you look at some of these new units, you're gonna see a sticker on the side of a lot of them that you've never seen before. And that's gonna be this Dexter Toe Assist sticker. The fact that they're including anti-lock brakes, sway mitigation, and an odometer on an RV just shows you how much they're trying to move more towards an automotive type experience. You see this powered by Bosch? Well, Bosch has been a staple in the automotive industry forever. And to see that Dexter and Bosch are working together to give you this towing experience and Jayco's including it on a lot of their products, including their North Points, their Eagle fifth wheels, Eagle travel trailers, and Pinnacle fifth wheels, and they've even done more than that. So when you look at this Eagle travel trailer, check it out. It doesn't even have a front tongue jack anymore. It has two fifth wheel style landing gears on the front as part of the auto leveling system. And this is on an Eagle travel trailer. That is super cool. Couple that with a lot of the technology that's going inside. It's hard to say that I've seen a manufacturer that's done more in terms of innovation than the folks over at Jayco in 2024. Now, if we're gonna talk about interior innovation, just from a space perspective, that's really where we have to look at products like the Wildwood View. So this is the Wildwood X-Lite View. I've already reviewed and done an entire tour of this in another video, but this is a 24 view. And when you step inside of this unit, first of all, I mean, check this out, the way the doors look, the fact that they're including this really cool power tilting bed system, that's awesome. They even tapered off the front of it so you have more room to get around it, isn't that cool? You have a suburban on-demand water heating system, again, on a relatively entry-level unit. Plus you have some really innovative storage solutions down here with basket storage, or at least storage containers, underneath your sofa, a very marine style seating area, tons and tons and tons of windows, you know, hence the name view, and innovative storage solutions like this in front of you fireplace spot for your tv refrigerator and hidden bunkhouse i mean check this out they give you baskets here on the side plus two bunks not huge bunks but they're definitely plenty of space for the kiddos and really really nice i mean this is just something that you typically didn't see and in 2024 this is something that you're going to see a lot more of because a lot of manufacturers are trying to incorporate these hidden or kind of concealed out of the way bunk spaces into their RVs. And I would argue to say that the folks over at Forest River and the Wildwood and Salem have done this better than anybody else. They kind of created this entire invention of a space, which is super cool. And again, 
just innovation. You're seeing a lot of that in 2024. Now, you know, there's other things that kind of take away from some of that, such as how do you cool down a unit that has this many windows, right? What do you do? So you have to find innovative ways like dumping a ton of air conditioning into this space to keep it cool. So again, whenever you decide to be innovative, you have to also understand what that innovation can do from a negative perspective. How do you control a heat coming into windows all around a relatively small space? But I would honestly tell you 2024 is the year of innovation in the RV industry. You're seeing more safety enhancements. Uh, check out brands like Ember, check out brands like Lance. Uh, lots of really, really cool stuff, plus even boutique brands that are coming out that are really showcasing what you're capable of doing. A lot of new off-road inspired brands as well. You know, ever since kind of Black Series hit the US market by storm and people started kind of getting into that whole Australian outback type of RVs, you've seen other brands that have kind of kicked off and at least other brands even from Australia that you're seeing more of in the US to compete against those off-road brands. People are buying them. They're, there's a market for them and I think people are showing that. But again, when it comes to brands to look at, Grand Design definitely has a lot of really cool floor plans, including a lot of really great features and amenities and technology in their RVs. I even think they're putting the Lippert ABS system now on their RVs as well. So lots of great reasons to look at RVs in 2024. The market is absolutely gonna be saturated with different types of floor plans, innovation and technology that is there to try to make your towing experience better. Um, at the same time, prices have come down about 20 to 30% versus COVID, which is really nice. They're still kind of up there, so definitely shop around and, and understand what you're paying for and understand if it's worth paying what you are paying and uh, just go into it with patience and go into it with the understanding that everyone's trying to earn your business right now and now's the perfect time to negotiate find a floor plan find a model you like look for the features you like and hopefully that model is going to include a lot of great towing technology that can make it safer for you to tow it down the road anyways guys i sure hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up and i look forward to bringing you more videos in 2024